It's Sunday and it's time for my mental health vlog. And first off, I want to say Happy Father's Day to anyone acting in a fatherly parental role today. So, and uh, I hate Father's Day. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that out loud. Today was a stressful day, and at one point I just snapped and broke. So let me tell you what happened today. Actually, let me, this week has been challenging. Um, first couple of days of the week, normal, fine, no big deal, everything was normal. On Thursday, I was heading to my SAA meeting, taking the same route I always take, making a right turn out of a second lane, which was a forward or right turn lane, at a pretty healthy speed. And someone else at a pretty healthy speed decided to sideswipe me and flip me around. Then they ran off, then they came back. Still waiting to hear from the uh, adjuster, but according to the opinion of the mechanic, and the opinion of the claims person I spoke to on the phone, based on the level of damage and the value of the vehicle, it is most likely totaled. Which means I now get to go through the joyous part of shopping for another vehicle, which I despise doing. I really do, I hate, sh I hate vehicle shopping. I hate test driving because I feel like there's so much pressure, I hate, Dealing with the salespeople, I know they're just doing their job and they're trying to make a living, but I just can't stand them. I've never met one I, I liked. And uh, figuring out if I want to stay with the same brand or type of vehicle or, or make a vehicle or model a vehicle or what's in my price range or what I can do without making my budget go crazy or go any higher with what I already pay for the car payment. The benefit is my insurance coverage includes gap coverage. So what that means, if you don't know, you should absolutely get gap coverage. So let's say the car is worth $3,000, but I owe $5,000. Well, if the vehicle is totaled, the insurance company initially is only gonna do the what it's worth. They're not gonna care about the loan. It's just gonna pay off what it's worth, which is the $3,000. Well, that leaves you with a $2,000 bill in your pocket that you have to pay. Gap coverage covers that gap between what the vehicle is worth and what the loan is for the lien holder. So that is the benefit. So at least I have gap coverage, so the, the car will be taken care of and paid off. Um, my credit is shit right now because of some financial stuff dealing with the divorce and I am not in a position to go car shopping. So my boyfriend is being very helpful right now. He's lent me his vehicle to use, although my insurance does cover rental car, but I'm saving that for later in case I need it. Um, And um, he's probably gonna help co-sign on a car for me, which is very generous and, and something that I appreciate. He's really stepped up. Um, he's always stepped up, but he really gave me a lot of reasons this weekend why he's very important to me and, and I love him very much. Um, Friday night I had my son and Saturday so we went to the pool uh, Saturday at uh, my boyfriend's parents' house. Um, had a great time, as we always do. Um, my son loves their pool and really enjoys, you know, my boyfriend's parents and um, thinks everybody's really cool. He's very comfortable there, so that's awesome. Um, he, he loves to swim. He's a fish. He loves to be in the pool. Um, and then we came back to the apartment. We uh, ate some... Uh, popsicles that we made the night before and um, then he gave me his Father's Day present 
which was very nice and I appreciated. Um, and then I took him home. We took him home. My ex has informed me that they're going to probably have to move because their new apartment that they just moved into and they are the first tenants to live in that apartment has mold in three different places. So even though they just moved in, they're gonna have to move again because it looks like uh, the repair, I, I don't know all the details of what's what they're doing with the building office, but they're, they're moving again, which is exactly what I did not want to happen with my son. I really wanted some sense of stability for him. And I hope he gets it soon. Today is Father's Day and um, my boyfriend's dad and mom and, and grandmother uh, wanted to do a lunch today um, for Chris's dad. So we did. We went down to, to the Cheesecake Factory in Sugarland, And it was a nice time, you know. I wore a, a different pair of shorts, a nice shirt. I, I, I look nice today. Not like I look now, but very comfortable now. Um, had a very, very nice lunch. Um, I really enjoy his family. Um, it was, it was just, it was nice. And then we drove all the way back to the city and we made one little stop before coming back to the apartment. We went to like TJ Maxx to get something or no Marshall's to get something. And he paid for his stuff. And then I went to pay for my stuff and my wallet was not in my pocket. My wallet is always in my pocket. But these shorts I have known my, I have been known for my wallet to slip out of these shorts because it's a it's a smooth wallet. So first thought is hopefully it's in the car, not in the car, um, because the apartment is so close to where we are versus going all the way back to the cheesecake factory. We decide to come back to the apartment real quick just to make sure I grab my wallet off the counter or the, off the dresser. Not on the dresser, not on the bed, not in the chair, not on the counter, not anywhere that we can find. So we figure the only place to go is back to the Cheesecake Factory. Now, mind you, we've tried to call the Cheesecake Factory. We could not get through. We tried at least 15, 20 times. Could not get through. And the two times I did get through, they picked up and hung up without saying anything. So that was very rude. So I'm stressing out the entire way. And of course, my boyfriend's like, let me drive. I'm stressing out the entire way back to the Cheesecake Factory. And I get there and... I go in and, and my boyfriend's checking out the parking lot just to see if it fell out in the parking lot. Go in, finally talk to the girl at the counter and no sign of wallet. I tell her where I was sitting. She sends somebody back to go check it out. No sign of wallet. So at this point, I'm just sick to my stomach. I've never lost my wallet before that I can recall. So on the way back to the apartment, just a mess and I'm, I'm I'm beating myself up I'm just absolutely beating myself up I'm calling myself stupid and and just how could I let this happen how could I how could I lose my wallet how could I not feel it how could I you know just beating myself up get back to the apartment and at this point I've already canceled my debit card because I called I called the bank on the way and um, sure enough it was in the shorts I wore yesterday so I felt even more stupid. And my boyfriend's like, I have forgotten things on multiple occasions. You have had no problem helping me find them, to retrace my steps, whatever. You've never gotten irritated. You've never gotten angry. You've never gotten frustrated. And he's like, I don't know why you would think I would be any of those things. And he's right. And it was a great example of talking to yourself the way that you should talk to somebody, like the way that you would talk to somebody you love, like we talked about a couple of weeks ago, that if I were nicer to myself and I talked to myself like I would have talked to him, one, I wouldn't have felt so shitty, and two, I, it just would have been a more productive mindset and I wouldn't have felt so down and flawed and broken which are kind of seems to be my go-to feelings. So. so I was very grateful for that. And when I did get home and got my wallet and I looked at my wallet, 
the most important thing to me were pictures of my son throughout the years. I've got like six different school pictures from him from daycare all the way up until you know, most recently. And I just realized, even though I talked to him today, that I miss him so much. And I hate Father's Day because if on a Sunday, I don't have him on Sunday. I don't get him on Father's Day. I hate that. And yes, we celebrated yesterday, but everyone's out today with their dads doing special things with their dads. And you know, people are like, how was your son? And I'm like, he's great. And he is, he's great. He's such an amazing kid. But today is a tough one when you don't have your child with you. And it's not like he's grown and moved away. It's, he's so close. But he gets to spend it with Daddy and not with Papa. And I've never been a huge fan of Father's Day because my dad and I don't have the best relationship. And we've been trying to rebuild it. Like I sent him cards this year for the first time in probably six years. And uh, I did call him, though. But it's always awkward to talk to, to my dad on the phone. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Father's Day. But today it was hard. And so much stuff just happened this week. It was just like as soon as I saw those pictures in my wallet and the idea that I, may have, I could have lost them forever, I just totally broke down. And again, my boyfriend had to hold me and make sure I was okay and just help me through it. But it came, it just came from nowhere and hit me hard. And it's okay. It's all right. Made it through. Felt the emotions. And got through it. So, yeah. I keep saying that, you know, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. The courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. But... I'm getting really tired of the things I cannot change being so shitty. Just a tough week. I hope yours was better. Um, check on your friends. Make sure they're doing okay. Tell them you love them. If they're dads, tell them happy Father's Day. Uh, check on your family. Tell them you love them. Call your dad if you've got them. Call your children if you haven't heard from them. Check on yourself. Make sure you're doing okay. Inventory emotions. It's okay not to have a good day. It's okay to have emotions. It's okay to cry. It's not okay to give up. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves, and I will check in with you all next week. Thanks.